discuss today on the Make Code Minute is how to use the random block. So what you can see here inside of my Make Code is that I've got a fairly simple sketch, and what it does is it waits for a button click. When I click the button, it's going to set all the NeoPixels to black, uh, and then it's going to run through six times. I'm treating this sort of like a, a die, if you're throwing, throwing a set of dice. This is like one die. Um, <clears throat> six times it's going to iterate through setting the value of, an, uh, of a variable I've created called role to, and then it picks a number, a random number between zero and nine, and that represents the 10 NeoPixels on the Circuit Playground Express. So that is our random block right there. Pick random zero, two, and I've set it to nine. Then it's going to set the pixel value of the number that gets pulled up. So let's say it rolls a three. It's going to set that one to red. Uh, and I'm also logging that value in the console just so we can look at it for demonstration purposes. That's not necessary for the final. So let's look at it in action. Uh, when I press, now I've gotten a four. I got a different four. I got a different four. I got five. But what we get from this is six times it's going to run through and pick a random number. There's nothing to stop it from picking the same random number uh, on subsequent uh, iterations through. So it's, it's some randomness, but uh, not quite exactly for, for dice rolling. Um, so let's take a look inside of the console. What I'm going to do is actually go into this snail mode that I love so much, and I'm going to press the virtual A button. And you can see one time it's running through and it is set a pixel to red. Another time a different pixel got called. Another time a different pixel got called, and so on. Uh, you can also use the console. I won't switch to that right now in the interest of time, but you can use the console to look at the values, get plotted on a graph, which is pretty cool. Uh, and you can imagine you can use randomness for all kinds of things. This one is really convenient because of how easily it slips into this variable block. So I can set a variable to uh, a defined range, a variable within a, or a random number within a defined range, really easily using this pick random block. And that is one way to use randomness on the Circuit Playground Express inside of make code.